In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Joke versus Drini Madden Bowl. This is Film Study, and my name is Cody. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, what we do is we basically help you get better at Madden through a variety of different things. This specific series, I'm taking a look at professional players, players that I look up to, players that I learn from, and we're going to be looking at Drini versus Joke. This is the quarterfinals in the Madden Bowl, and these guys are two of the best defensive players in the game. You'll see here, these are their abilities. But before we jump into the video, I want to encourage you, if this video is helpful to you, teaches you something about Madden, do me a favor and join our Discord server. The link is in the description, and if that link doesn't work, send me a personal text message. My number's in the description. You can reach out to me that way, and we are going to be um, dropping a free offensive and defensive guide in that Discord server once we reach 100 members. So we have a little bit of a ways to go, but as soon as we hit that 100, I will drop a full free offense and defensive scheme all right so let's jump into this so first and 10 this is Madden Bowl. now Drini uh, has kind of a unique unique setup here he's got Gale Sayers Eli Manning and then he's got these two wide receivers out here so he can kind of run a little bit of everything joke coming out in the nickel 335 wide he's gonna spy both safeties and looks like jokes gonna or uh, Drini is gonna start out with a little HB dive Running to the left there. But he's running I form close. I'm pretty sure the playbook, I, I think he's running Oakland. I think both of these guys are in Oakland. And I'm pretty sure they're both in Miami as well on defense. So, joke here. Nickel 335, wide. Now, this is Mutt's salary cap. And looks like Drini's going to be able to hit that route. And I think he's going to get on board really quick here with a one-play score. So good read by him. And that was just that man coverage on Ingram. And that's one of the things that Drini was able to figure out is if I bring tight ends in that have good speed, I'm going to have a little bit of an advantage. And uh, here he's able to go up top. Now, joke on offense is nothing to see. <laughs> nothing to see. But we will we will show a little bit of this because I do want to show – I do want to show Drini's defense and show kind of what he was doing to stop the run. But Joke didn't bring a quarterback. In fact, he played most of his snaps with a punter, and that was a big deal. Um, Joke is one of those guys, this year was the perfect year for him. Here you see there's that man. I think he was just in his zone actually over there, so there was no, left him kind of a busted coverage on that one. But Joke this year was so good for him because, again, he's a defensive player, very defensive-minded player. And his goal is, it, it, really, if you look at Joe's Madden career, he's cons consistently been in situations to win, but has kind of beat himself with his passing game. He's thrown a pick at the wrong time, um, done all those kind of things. And so this is why this year really played to Joe's strengths because it's a run-based year. Uh, running the ball is very effective. And not only that, but it's a defensive base. And so Joke, because he didn't bring a quarterback to the dance, he was able to spend uh, an insane amount of salary cap on his on his defense. So here we go. Coming out wing flex close. Going to run the stretch there and trying to spin back in. I would have liked to see him just kind of try to get four or five. I didn't think that spin was going to happen for him. And they're like I said, they're both in Oakland. Now watch what Drini does to defend this. And this is what we're going to learn a little bit about run defense. And I'm going to talk about it here in this next thing. So they're both running the same run defense. So it's a nickel 335 wide. I have broken this run defense down on my YouTube channel. So you can check that out if you want. But basically what happens is, like the 3-4 odd, these two guys right here are going to come down into the box. So they're going to be a little bit closer. And then on the outside, these linebackers are wide enough, right? And that's kind of the purpose of the wide formation to allow, so he's blitzing all these linebackers off the edge. He's going to kind of hover with his user. These guys are going to both be on spies because, again, Joke's not going to pass the ball. And if I was even him, I would probably blitz these guys. I don't even know if he's going to do that or not, but I would almost run commit every play against Joke, but that's just maybe maybe I'd be wrong to do so. But there you go. There you see. And Gale's able to get out and scamper there a little bit. To me, when you're facing the run, it's not the little the little quick dive straight up the middle against nickel three through five wide that's an issue. It's the dive with the with the weave around and out. So it's the where he'll run he'll run directly up the middle. And here I'll show you. So so here he's coming out goal line and Eli Manning to the right. So he's going to run to the right. And there you see he gets out and he's using that ninety really high speed. This is great user by Journey. Almost gets him. But Joke's able to get in, and so now we're back to dead even. So both players kind of got out uh, early here. 
Uh, but let's see what happens here. We've got I-Form close. See what Drini's got. So Joke, same thing. You see here? Same thing. Nickel 335. Okay, these two linemen. Uh, he's pinched his line. He's probably crashed them either inside. I think he's probably crashing them outside, but I'm not sure. These guys right here, these linebackers here on the outside, they're going to contain. So they're going to basically push up the field. And then the idea is you've got these two guys spied, so it's going to force him to run out. And then he's going to have to cut back up into the defense, which is these three people right here. But we'll see, what, we'll see how this plays out. The thing that Joke can't do is he can't run commit because Drini has – three or four guys that can really catch the ball. So Drini's, Drini's done a lot from the passing here. And honestly, I think Drini's kind of... Honestly, I think he overthought it a little bit, though. I'd like to see him run the ball a little bit more in this game looking back. Because he's gone to the air, I think, every play. And now he's in third down long. So here... And this is kind of his little go-to play here. This route right here is going to be able to get up against man. And he's got that post route hitch combination on that left side. I think he might just run it and punt it and almost gets out there. I would have liked to see a cut to the left side because I think he had him, but he's going to punt. So good D by joke. All right, back on offense here for joke. Same thing. So I form close and let's see here. So you see how Drini shifted. You see how he shifted his line. That's because joke is strong to the right side. Joke is kind of giving away. A little bit giving away because you see here is a receiver and here's a lineman. So he's more than likely going to run this way because that's where all of his strengths are. So Drini is just going to make a quick adjustment, slide that line to the left, probably spy that guy. And then he'll probably, what I'd like to see is him user this guy, but in that situation. But there you see the safeties come out and Drini's able to hold it to a reasonable game. We'll see here. See if Joke keeps telegraphing where he's going to go. Yep, he, so you see he did it again. So he's coming out of wing flex close. He's got Franco Harris here. Franco Harris is a fullback, so more than likely he's going to run to the left, but we'll just see how this plays out. I mean, he he's this is his strongest running set. I mean, this is the best set for him to be able to run on, and uh, we'll see here. He's got that tight end motion across, trying to get that, trying to get that block on that safety, but he's not able to get it. And Drini gets a good stop there. And you saw Drini, I think he stayed, I think he stayed base with that line. They didn't, they didn't crash. Watch the line shifts. So see here, he shifted his line to the left. I don't like this shift here because you still got this tight end right here. He could playmaker that run to the right, and we could be in trouble. Let's we'll see what he does here. Nope, he's going strong left. And I think he takes a timeout. He didn't like the look. And to be honest with you, I didn't like that. See there, he put. See he moved that tight end. Those are all little cues. Those are little bitty things that you pick up on in film study. And and sometimes in in the live game, it's hard to hard to key in on that. But here you see he's got both his linemen there. Now it's definitely probably going to be a left run because that's the wide side. Drini shifts over. Both these guys are going to be in spies. He flips the play. Drini again, and now Joke's trying to catch him. Catch him running left here. Joni's just try Joke is just trying to uh, catch Drini off balance with these flips. Drini's doing a great job of staying base aligned or man aligned on that. And Gale Sayers, it's good cut by a uh, good cut by Joke to be able to get a couple yards there. And I think Joke's going to end up punting this ball. Let's see what he does here. Got a little bit of load here. Fourth and three. Yep. He's going to go ahead and punt. So. All in all, you know, it seems like seems like very little's going on in the game, kind of a boring game so far, but it's really actually really strong defense. Um, you see that auto flip is on for joke. When you're facing a runner, you want auto flip on because you always want to have you want it's basically you want to make the numbers game in your favor. And there you see there's good D. Drini tries to Drini is trying to run that little dive, but the 335 wide uh, is is clamping it down right now. He's got the spies there. You see, Joke's not shifting. Joke's not shifting. So if I'm if I'm Drini, but because he doesn't have any linemen out there, they can't block those guys. But he's able to throw. So it's just a little bit of a trade off. Joke has to be a little bit more balanced against the pass. Drini can pretty much sell out against the run. I don't think Joke's gonna throw a pass. So. I don't like to see him put this guy on a little hitch here, but we'll see what he does here. Nope. Throws him on a zig. Ooh, bad read. He had uh, 
he had the uh, X receiver. See, Joke is basically playing man to man against this I for him, and he's saying he's saying that you know you're gonna have to I'm gonna force you to beat me up and down the field. And I think Drini, um, looking back at this game, I think that one of the major one of the major challenges um, for a lot of people on offense, and this is for me included, is you tend to look for the bomb, not the short underneath routes. And, and I think the short underneath routes are so critical. So Joke's going to come out in goal line here. This is all linemen. And it's just going to see what Drini's defense can do against the goal line set. And he's just, he's basically clocking him. You know, Joke wants to have as few possessions as possible. And that's good defense from Drini. And again, this is just that nickel 335 wide setup. There's nothing really complicated about it. A lot of it depends on a lot of it comes down to Drini's not making any mistakes with his defense. Um, Joke is trying to get Drini to make a mistake. Get in a defense that Drini's not gonna work, it's not gonna work or whatever. And you're seeing Drini's stay in discipline. Here he comes out wide. And Gail Sayers just beats him to the sideline on that one. And I think Joke might be is he in field goal right now? He's gonna go for this one. He's going to go for this. Let's skip ahead here. Let's see what he calls here. So he's got fourth and inches. I think this is um, strong tight. Strong tight. See, and I'd like to see a straight dive from here on this one, but we'll see what he does. Looks like he's going to go to the stretch. He might take it down. He takes another timeout. Didn't like the look. If I'm him, I'm taking three. So he does. He takes three here. I think he was going to try to get a look at it, see what would happen. But he's going to go up top by going up top by 10. Drini comes out now. And now you see these motions with Drini. This eye close. Bring him, drop, bring him Brown around. He's got that one play score. I think he almost had Evan Ingram over the top. And I'm pretty sure that Drini has... Um, Hot route master on Eli Man. I'm pretty sure he does. Yep, he does. So he can hot route any of these routes out here, which is another big addition to his offense. Um, with Drini being able to do pretty much any route combination he wants to do from I form close, it kind of forces Joke to be in a run defense. But if Joke doesn't, but I, I'm not sure if he's. I'm just not sure if he's using his hot route master to the fullest. Position. There he just two man under. You see the safeties aren't aren't in a. Um, see how the safeties aren't coming down? That's because Joke's not in the run defense from three through five. That's because you watch the safeties. It'll tell you what they're doing. So here you see second and four. Now I bet you he goes to the run defense because he's 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 betting that Drini runs. Drini's gonna pass here. Up oh, they back out, and Joe or Drini had this guy wide open. He just missed him. And Frank Clark made a great play. Frank Clark was a huge addition. If in in this this is this is the game where if you're going to play defense in Madden 20, in my opinion, you have to have a power move specialist in that in that spot right there. See, I want him to hit him, but he wants to hit that. See that right there? He wants to hit that, but see, you've got a wide open route over here. So that's that's just a bad um, bad two play combination on Drini's part. Joke's doing a great job of taking away what what Drini's probably going to do. And here you saw Drini's defense. I think he's going to take a timeout. He didn't like how that looked. You'll see this weak flex close formation here. Now he's an eye close. Again, these guys are crashing off the edge. You got this guy here, and the re this guy is going to flip to the strong side. So if strong side was left, he'd be over here. And by strong side, I mean wherever that tight end is in eye form. So we'll see how this rolls here. So there's the motion. You see he follows. You still got guy here. And then it's you're balanced. You're balanced. 